forget yeah. it. Right? <laughs> All right, hello everybody. This is Tony with Blacktop Magazine, and I'm here with uh, Ron Camera. How you doing, Tony? Good, Ron. Good hey. to see you again. Hey, uh, Grand National Roadster Show. That means a lot to me. Yeah. Uh, that's you know, between the Grand National and a little local show that we do here in Orange and the SEMA. Mm -hmm. That's what kind of keeps us rolling, right. you know, between you know, SEMA, the Orange Show, and the Grand National. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a lot of work. You know, we, we go throughout the year, you know, pretty much throughout the year, we, we, we kind of cruise and we stay pretty busy. But around November, man, the guys just poured on. Yeah. Some of these guys are putting out 80 hour weeks. Yeah. Trying to get it done for the Grand National, and it's just like, it's so draining by the time we get we get done with the Grand National. Right. We all want to go on vacation. Well, and you got the SEMA right, right, oh. in, you know, before it and right. all too. But you've been exhibiting at the Grand National Roaster Show since you were a teenager. I've been going since about <laughs> 1967 with my older brother. I've been building bicycles there when I was. About 1969, 1970, about 10 years old. Uh -huh. uh, just totally involved in it. You know, it's, it's kind of been, it started at the Oakland Coliseum, yeah. where I'm from NorCal, and uh, it's just always been a real, it's in my heart to go to, to, go to the Oakland Coliseum. I still call it the Oakland Coliseum. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, did you get a chance to go look at the bicycles there today? I did sure did. Even All right. In the, the motorcycle and the bicycle room, uh, mm -hmm. and and I've been showing stuff at the Oakland at the Oakland Coliseum, the Grand National Roadster Show, which with uh, John Buck for probably the last eight or nine years here, and we've always been in Building Six or Building Seven or Building Five, so it was special for us this year to finally be in Building Four. Right, right, the big building. Yeah, yeah. So we had a nice booth. We had a ten by forty there, mm -hmm. and we were able to bring a couple new cars that we just finished and. Uh, it was really fun. It was yeah. just so tiring. <laughs> so much fun. You know, the, they're very impressive cars and they're two completely different styles, you know. So uh, tell us a little bit about each of the cars. Well, the first, the Model A, which it's kind of been a long-term project that even started in my garage at home mm. for uh, a, a, a kid from NorCal who grew up with my son. Oh, okay. And so we started that car probably about eight years ago. And uh, he, he, you know, when he had money, we worked on it. When he didn't have money, we stopped. Okay. Right? And uh, we were able to build this little 30 Model A. It's chopped, it's channeled. A really neat car. It's, it would start out as just an injected motor. Now it's blown and carbureted. All right. Uh, it went through all kinds of different stages. In eight years, you, you change all kinds of things. You can build a car in a year, you kind of stay focused. In eight years, it went from different wheels and different slicks and different exhaust and wow. different color. Yeah. I mean, just everything, you know? But it's amazing that it came together, all those one really bitching unit. Yeah, 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 it was really good to see it. And, and he and he was, man, it was such a neat thing to see him there. His mom and dad came came down here from NorCal. Wow, neat. So they were there and he took second in his place. Right. Which was awesome. You know, that's fantastic. In a car like that. Right, right. I mean, there's a lot of competition oh, in cars like that. He had 17 cars in his class. Oh, wow. And he got pulled up second. Yeah. That's, yep. that's really good. Yep. And then the other car. The 55. It's just, the, it's a gem. It's, this car is so awesome. We're so proud of this car. Uh, we started this car. We actually, we've had it for probably a year and a half. It took four months to finally get the chassis. We ordered it from Roadster Shop. Mm -hmm. but, uh, the owner and I have been brainstorming what he wanted to do and the ideas. And we came up with this car, we came up with this Corvette theme, and it's just, uh, this car came together just yeah. really cool, you know? Right, it's like a big box Corvette. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's so sporty looking. When you look at it, it's got a European flair to it. And it's just, uh -huh. it's just, it's got an LS motor with the 392 Hemi valve covers and the projectors, <laughs> and it's just, and the wheels and all the little body mods that the guys did here. And just the Little? They seem well, like a lot. They're, <laughs> big body you know, mods. it's amazing that the, the guys there at the Grand National, a lot of them couldn't figure it out. Right. They didn't know. They were looking at this thing going, what did you guys do? Did you chop it? Did you section it? Right. And, and, and you know, I have nothing to hide, so I explained it to these guys. They're like, wow. There's yeah. so, they're, they're small changes that added up to be a big change for the whole car. Right, right. Well, that's fantastic. And I'm sure you had a lot of people coming by your booth. Yeah. Met a lot of new people, a lot of nice people there. Uh, you know, we're still, we're a small shop that people don't really know who we are. <laughs> But I know that's changing, and yeah. uh, we were, uh, and we met a lot of people there that were even in our own backyard that didn't even know who we were. Wow! Yeah. And Nikki was there in the afternoon Nikki. signing the calendars. And yep. stuff. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. And uh, yeah, but it all worked out really well. Good, good. 
Well, it is, uh, they say called the granddaddy of them all, and it really is a big show. It's a show within a show within a mm -hmm. show, and uh, I mean, I was there all day Saturday and part of Friday, and there's still things I miss, I'm sure. I, I got to sneak out. I went through a few rooms. I, I think I probably saw half of the show, and it was just the quality, the cars. It was, I mean, if Friday, I've never seen Friday that busy. It was so packed on the it Friday. Was, it was. It was packed. Yeah, Friday afternoon, I was like, so I went there to take some pictures, and there's still crowds. Yeah, yeah. John Buck does a great job. Yeah, he really does. He yeah, does a great job. Of it. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for taking some time. Oh. I know you're busy. Yeah. And uh, you. congrats on the show. Thank you. Right on. Yeah. All right. Thanks, All right, everybody. Tony with Black Top Magazine, and we're out. See you later. Hi guys, my name is Nikki, and thank you for watching Black Top TV.